Hi guys, this is Matt Skills TV, and today I'm going to show you a video of how to add animated bullet lists using Sony Movie Studio Platinum version 13. So this is the effect that I'm looking after. Uh, this is the effect that I want you to get. Uh, I'll open a previously edited video that I made. Uh, it's actually on my YouTube channel at the moment. And I was looking on how to add animated bullet lists. So this is the effect that I want to replicate today. You can see in the top right corner there is two items visible that are animated and they're appearing one after another without overlapping each other in any sort of way. So this is the exact uh, effect that we will achieve today. Let me pause this and open uh, Sony Movie Studio. So I already have a sample video content available here which is basically me unboxing a CPU and I want to add the animated list somewhere along these lines here. Uh, if you have the version 13 it should look very similar to what I have. You'll see all these different tabs here. We need to go to media generators. If you select media generators then you'll see the tab for all. Uh, you don't need to go specifically to other folders. All will be fine and then you should see titles and text. You can choose any titles and text that you want to be displayed, different anim animations. There's quite a few available here. Uh, I've chose to go with uh, pop-up. So we just drag and drop onto our text panel, text track, and then you will see straight away the uh, text that you can enter. Let's just put in item one uh, as an example for now. You can also see here the duration is set to 10 seconds. That means the animation of item 1 popping up and down will last uh, for 10 seconds. This is important if you want your list to stay, uh, if you want your list to be displayed for more than 10 seconds. Because if you want your list to display for more than 10 seconds, the animation will repeat itself again. Uh, so we'll just name it item 1. Actually, while this window is open, we can actually scroll a video to see what it looks like. Uh, so you can see right now we can see our item one is here. We can actually drag it and I want to drag it to the top right corner and we can actually resize it as well. So let's make it a bit smaller. Item one. There you go. Perfect. Let's close uh, the window. Now this is very important what we do next because if you actually copy uh, the same title and text animation and place it place it here and let's say name it item 2 uh, it won't you can see right now I'm doing it but uh, manually it will just play item 1 and item 2 not at the same time even if you actually overlap them they won't have the desired effect because they will fade away fade into item 2 so what we need to do here is we'll grab this and select your top track right now it's text right click and select insert video track this will insert another video track again you can actually name it anything you want uh, I just name it to text we'll have to move our item 1 because we want our item 1 to be displayed first and item 2 displayed a couple of seconds afterwards so we just did this right now and we can just play the video and you can see item 1 has popped up and item 2 has popped up. If you want you can go back to item 2 uh, select the edit option and move it back to, it uh, to the same position as item 1. You can mess around with these settings to make it better. Uh, and that's that's about it guys that's uh, how to set the item how to set an animated bullet list uh, you can see here again it looks quite neat and you can add as many items as you want as I mentioned before if the duration is a bit more than 10 seconds uh, the items might start to repeat the animation again but this is something uh, something that shouldn't cause pro problems if in case it is I'll actually show you what happens if it is longer than 10 seconds So you can see here our item 1 is already there. 
an item two has already been uh, displayed. I'm talking the video showing, and you see again item one has uh, performed its animation loop again. If you want to stop that, you can go back to uh, generate media editing settings and set this to about I don't know 20 seconds or 15 seconds or how long you want the animation to be here. Or if it's actually causing enough problems, you can just stick to using sample text. Sample text which has no animation but will display one after one after another. And this is how to do uh, how to do animated bullet list. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. If you liked it, uh, if you liked it, please uh, press like at the bottom of the video. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. Um, if you have any feedbacks, please leave a comment. Uh, and I'll see you again in the future.